Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stalwart Bucharest. And yes, Philip Lukic is injured. Last time we said Ismail's going at the end of the season, his contract's running up and he's running it down. If Lukic gets injured, we're in trouble. And days later, that's exactly what happened. He's out for up to a month with an abdominal strain. And today, we've got the second leg against Club Bruges. We're 4-2 down after the first leg in Belgium. We need to win by three or win by two and concede no more than two. And we'll be through. It's going to be a really tall order. And we're going to do it without our best player, who has got 31 goals in all competitions this season. 21 uh, league appearances, 20 goals. And we've got to do it without him. So yeah, second leg today against Club Bruges. We'll also have a cup game. We've got the Romanian Cup uh, quarterfinal. Just so there's not just one game today and that's it. Otherwise, it will be like an eight-minute video. You don't want that. As always, if you're enjoying the videos, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's see if we can get through this. It's going to be tough against Club Bruges for the second leg. But let's see if we can get through. So yeah, we lost 4-2 in the first leg in Bruges. Um, we gave away an early penalty. And we just had one of those days, unfortunately. Uh, we weren't terrible. I think we were unlucky to lose by as much as we did. I think a draw would have been fair. A loss by one, I probably could have taken. But 4-2, that's a big hill to climb. We did play a game off camera. It was away against Astro Georgi. Remarkably, it ended 0-0 after 35 shots in the whole game. I don't know how we didn't score in this one. It was a bit of a sort of wintry game. Like the conditions were very much wintry. It wasn't snowing, but you know, you get like the almost grey pitch and the conditions weren't great. And we just struggled to score. And with Lukic injured, Aura played up front and wasn't good. Um, Ismihil is an option to go up front. Uh, maybe Niga. Uh, Bota is another youngster that could maybe play. So it's a bit. It's going to be a bit of a conundrum to know what to do with our striker without Lukic. After that draw, we have uh, dropped off the top of the table. We do still have that game in hand against Sepsi though, which was uh, postponed due to a waterlog pitch. Um, but we're a point behind Viterol now, although they've played a game more. So let's just jump into the second leg then. Um, we'll play that. And then we've got Crayova in the quarterfinals of the cup. Now, looking at our centre forwards, we can go for Catalin Niger. I think that might be what we do. Uh, I don't really like playing with target men. So let's try and advance forward and let's see what he can do. He's a good, he's only 17, but he's looking good. So like his finish is at 11. It's okay. He's a good header of the ball, so a target man would be good, but we play very short passing and don't really look to go long. We could play for set pieces and try that. I think that's definitely going to be something we do, but his decision making's all right. He's fairly strong. We're going to give it a go. Uh, Cosmin Din's not fit. Um, he got injured in the first leg, so he's not quite ready to come back yet. But I think that is the only change that we will make, is a change in the centre forward. And let's see what we can do. Um, let's Yeah, we've got play for set pieces on. So let's see what we can do with it. We need a big performance here. We're two goals behind. We need to win by three or win by two and concede no more than two. It's going to be hard, but let's just give it our best shot. I don't really want to go out at this point. Considering last season we got to the final, to go out at the first knockout stage would not be good. Let's see what we can do. We're at home, so maybe things will go a bit better. I think we were unlucky to lose 4-2 in that first leg. I think we probably had the better chances in the game, but I think they just showed that little bit of quality. The keeper pulled off some great saves. But let's see if the second leg will go any better here. As Aranzo goes back to the goalkeeper. In 14 minutes, this is our first highlight of the match. Let's see what we can do. Here's Georgion. Moving out wide, he goes to Toma. I mean, this is a good sign already. Um, well, it was until Bashiri easily took the ball off of Toma. Here's Van den Kybus. And here is Bashiri to De Vriant, who scored the fourth goal in that first leg. The set-piece goal. That was a, a wayward long ball. Jon to Toma. Jon to Pavelka. That's a good cross. Niga. Oh, okay. It's 1-0. That is, okay, that might be a master track by me to bring on Catalin Niga because he's managed to get us the first goal there and it's 4-3. I don't like saying it, but I've got to be careful about how I say the name. I, I don't want YouTube to strike me or anything like that, but I, I think that's how you say the name. Catalin Niga. I, 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 it's, it's difficult to say. Okay, Nagoyski's picked up a knock. That's slightly alarming. We'll see out this highlight and then I think we will hook him off. It might have to... I don't think I actually have... Um, 
Um, Mahaxi on the bench. I think I have someone else. Pavelka, Martina. Okay. 37 minutes. It's 2 0. It's 4 4 on aggregate. As it stands, we would go through on away goals. Uh, I think we need to get Nagoyski off. I think we put Petre on the bench, did we not? Yeah, Vladic Petre is on the bench. I think we'll go East Mihil, though. Not going to go to Petre just yet. Uh, we're not going to see a replay, unfortunately, because I just made the change. But 2-0, we've really turned that around. Now Costanza's picked up a lot, but hopefully he'll be okay. Half-time, that's a really, really good 45 minutes. And we've been much, much better. I mean, Bruges have barely ha they've had one shot. They've had nothing. Happy with the performance in their second leg so far. It's 2-0. We are level on score, but we have those two away goals. As it stands, we're going through. Niga with his very first Stour goal. Gives us that 1-0 lead. 17 years old. And he gets the goal. And then, who was the other scorer? Uh, Martina. Of course it was. Martina's been good this season. He's got five so far. I thought we had more, but he's been really impressive. Right, second half in the second leg. Don't mess this up. I don't really want to have to take off Costanza because I don't have Zuble on the bench either. But we're looking good here. We're halfway through the second half. It's still 2-0. Nedelea is going to come off. Uh, yep, that's fine. We'll bring on this man wrong for him. Five minutes to go. I mean, if they score now, though, that's it. We're out. But here's Georgion. And it's headed away by Kuhls. And here's Diata. We can't let them score now. If they score, they're back in front. We don't want it. Good tackle by Aranzo. And here's Costanza. It's a long ball up to Niga. Here's Ismail. And he's got a he's got clear sight of goal here. He's gone for goal. Oh, and it's a good block by the defender, by or Orhan. It's going to be Costanza. Um, I need to, really. I don't really have a, a, an available right back, so it's going to have to be Basiste playing out there. Five minutes to hold on here. It's 2-0. As it stands, we're through on away goals. We just need to hold on. Here's Martina to Iranzo. Morong. Basiste. Ismail. Not a great ball there, and it's headed back to the, uh, the Bruges goalkeeper, Blommer. Come on, hold on, guys. We can't let them have a clear sight of goal like, at all. Just keep the possession. Jon to Pavelka. Here's Martina to Toma. A third goal would really kill this off. And Iga might get it here. Oh, just wide. I'm nervous because if we concede one goal, then we're going out. And we, we can't do that. Here, here he is again. Niga, come on. This time the keeper is equal to it. Okay, we're into four minutes of stoppage time. I think we should have done enough. We have. There we go. I, I was worried about nothing. We won 2-0. We did enough. And Bruges really didn't offer anything. Okay. I mean, that really was a game of two legs. Um, we've done really, really well there. Really, really well. That has happened a lot in previous European games, especially in qualifying. Um, we were really bad in like those first legs. Like When we went to places like Kazakhstan, didn't lose that grip. We, we lost the first leg 5-3 and then won 5-0 in the second leg. So, yeah, it just seems like those home legs, we just seem to be a lot, lot better. There's some big scores here as well. Austria-Vienna won 10-4 on aggregate over HJK. And Krilia Sovets won 6-4. So we're going to join the group winners. Costanza's going to miss a week, so he will probably miss the cup game against Croyova. So we'll see who we're going to face in the second round of 16. And then we'll jump into the cup game against Croyova. So we have AC Milan and München Gladbach. I think two of the favourites for this tournament. München Gladbach have won the Europa Conference League before. Arsenal and Celtic also want to try and avoid them if we can. Basel will be tough. CSK Moscow will be tough. Ghent, Oziek, who I think we faced before. Uh, Trabzonspor, Stard Ream, uh, Rijeka, of course. We're in our group and uh, we lost and drew against them. We've got Jablonek, we've got Utrecht, we've got Krilia Sovatov, and we've got Austria Vienna, who did win 10 4 on aggregate in their game. Let's see who we're going to face in the next round. So Celtic are the first team out. And they get Arsenal. That's a big tie. Okay, we're at home in the first leg. CSKA Moscow. I mean, I can draw the rest of the groups now, rest of the teams. That's going to be tough. Once again, we're at home for the first leg. So it's CSKA Moscow. Third place they got last season. Um, they've won a couple of titles. Uh, they had Rosenborg, St. Gallen and Astana in their group. And they managed to get through unbeaten. Okay, I guess we're going straight into it. <laughs> they've moved back the career of a cup game to fit in CSK in Moscow. So it's going to be like the next match. 
Again, we're going to stay with Europe until we go out, so we might get all the way to another final again. Who knows? We did really well last season. We've managed to overturn the deficit against uh, Club Bruges. What can we do against the Russians? Oh, a job interview from Villarreal. Interesting. I haven't really talked too much about other job offers that we've had because this is a one club save. I'd never intend on leaving Stour. But we've had a few sort of different job offers throughout. Like Villarreal is probably the highest profile we've had. But we've had interviews from um, other sides like around Eastern Europe. So Ludogorets have offered us an interview. Uh, Zoria, who I think are Ukraine. Okay, we didn't intend on doing this today, but we've got the first leg against CSK in Moscow. Sold out Stour Stadium. Okay, let's see what sort of team we can put out then. Um, we're having a few absentees here and there. Zubalev's going to come in at right back. Ismihil's going to play right wing. Okay, I think this is what we'll go with. Um, don't want to change anything really, but Ismail's going to be the only force change in there. Okay, let's send the team out and let's see how we do in the first leg against CSKA Moscow. A win, I think, is, is needed. Because if we end up failing to win, I don't think we're going to beat them in Russia. So I think we need a win. Let's see if we can get one. Okay, off we go. I want to win here. Hopefully we can get one. But, um... Going to be a difficult one against the Russians. Didn't actually have a look at their side. I saw a Werner. Please don't be Timo Werner. I mean, <laughs> if it's Chelsea Timo Werner, then that's fine. It is Timo Werner. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. How's he been doing? Um, I mean, he did well for Chelsea in that first season. 17 goals. He kind of lost his place, though. And then for... Uh, he just joined CSK in Moscow, actually. He's played 17 games for them, scored seven goals. He was at Leverkusen for a little bit. They also have Fedor Shalov. They've got Clement Longlet, former Barcelona defender, uh, who's uh, joined from Liverpool. He played 17 times for Liverpool. Why did he not play more? I guess maybe... I don't know if Robertson's still playing for them or not. 17 appearances for Liverpool in four seasons. You paid £48.5 million pounds for him. What are you doing? I just got distracted because Timo Werner's playing for CSK in Moscow. <laughs> I wonder if he can hit a barn door. Toma hits the post. We're playing a narrow diamond as well. That should give us a lot of space out wide in theory. Let's see if it does. Milenkovic with a header away. Only as far as Martina. Here he is. Nedelea. Block by Milenkovic. Martina keeps it up though. Here's Georgian. And across, and Pavelka with a near post header. 14 minutes, 1-0. Hopefully we can win the first leg. We just seem to pick up the performances in these European home games. And I'm, I love it. I absolutely love it. George on with the cross here. And then Pavelka just nods it in at the near post. Keeping nowhere near it. And we have that 1-0 lead. But we're playing really, really well here at the moment. And here is Mark Rocker to Timo Werner. Here's Sigurdsson. Obliakov. And we'll find Chalov. We've got plenty of people behind the ball, so we should be okay. Mori. Or More, I'm not sure. If the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, that's a Mori. Sigurdsson. Chalov. Werner. I mean, there was... I mean, he's offside. I'll take an offside. I, there was no way he was going to miss that. But was he offside or not? Referee's going to check. Or VAR is. And it's been disallowed. Shalov was offside, actually. Werner was on, but Shalov was off. Yeah, Shalov was off. Words. Here's Toma to Nedele. Goes back to Ruben Aranzo. Here's Zubile. That's a good switch for Pavelka. He's got Jon in support if he wants him. And that's a foul. That was outside the box. I, I, I can tell you that's outside the box. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm here and I can tell you that was outside the box. I mean, give a penalty if you want. But you're wasting our time. You're wasting my time. It's a free kick. I mean, luckily, I edit these so I can cut that out. Although, talking over it is kind of redundant. Okay, free kick with Ismail. Finally actually getting to take it. And Longlet heads it away at the uh, far post. Here's Gabriel Toma. Ismail goes for goal. Niga gets himself his second goal for the club. And it's 2-0 now against CSK in Moscow. 29 minutes coming up on the clock. And we're looking well on top here. And Moscow haven't offered too much. I think they've had one or two openings. But nothing massive as uh, Ismail... Uh, set up the uh, the young striker. Just 17 years old, and he's got a couple of goals for the club now. Really, really nice work. And with two goals for the good. Toma to Zubile. And a switch to Martina. Lots of space for uh, for Martina. Here's Pavelka. And Niga to Zubile. Nedele. Nice, nice, nice football here again. That's a great ball for Martina. Oh, what a goal. Francesco Martina, another goal. That's his seventh of the season. And we're 3-0 up here. 
I think I'm underestimating our side, either that or I'm overestimating the other sides around Europe because we are absolutely dominating the Russians here. Zubale, that's a great ball for Martina and that's a lovely finish. Okay, we're 70 minutes in. Uh, this has been a very one-sided first leg. It really has. Um, all right, let's make some changes. Pavelka's getting a bit tired, so we're going to bring on Anissa Aura in his place. And I'm going to bring on Cosmin Din for Toma as well. I mean, we've had 93 minutes. Uh, let's make our last change. Let's just bring on Morong for, for Nedalea. And that's full time. 3-0 first leg in a very one-sided performance. Really, really impressed with that. We were really, really good. And yeah, really nice performance to take into the second leg in Russia. Hopefully, we don't mess that up. We're 3-0 up. We shouldn't do. Yeah, that's really boosted my confidence in these guys. You know, Bruges, the first leg wasn't good. We lost 4-2. But since then, we've been great. How much further can we go? I guess we'll wait and see. Um, we've got Kinya in the league before our second leg against CSK Moscow. And then we do have that cup game, which has been pushed back because of the, the European stuff. It might get pushed back again. If we get through to the quarterfinals, that might get pushed back again. We'll have to wait and see. But we'll do that next time. Um, that will be on uh, Sunday. And then after that, we'll see where we go from there. If we stay in Europe, we'll crack on with the European stuff. If we go out, we'll get through a bunch of games off camera and round out the league stuff. Hopefully we'll get through and get through to the quarterfinals in uh, the Europa Conference League. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so that already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. Um, good day today. We beat Bruges at home 2-0, went through on away goals. And then we're straight into the next round. CSK Moscow, 3-0 win at home. And our 17-year-old striker is proving very, very useful. Just got to be careful how you say his name. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.